The end of apartheid in South Africa ushered a new government led by global icon Nelson Mandela, but the ghosts of apartheid are haunting the country. Some victims of the unjust system say they are yet to get reparations. The Kulumani support group has been a source of hope for hundreds around the country who say they've been shut out of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission led by Archbishop Desmond Tutu. The group is led by Nomarashia Bonase, who's been helping many of these victims tell their stories. My son was shot and killed in the 1992 political violence. My other son was also killed in the political violence in 1994. When the TRB came about, I was told I'd get reparations for my son, who died in 1992, and not the one who died in 94. Maria was lucky enough to have buried the remains of her children. Some families still don't know what happened to their loved ones. <laughs> My brother Stanley was killed by apartheid police. They came forward at the commission but never told the truth where they buried him. Even after effort to help them remember, we found nothing. Some were lucky enough to escape with their lives. This man lost control of one side of his body and most of his ability to speak after being assaulted by apartheid police. It's through this support group he hopes to get justice. Kulumani support group has been surviving on the generosity of donors, mostly from overseas. They say many of their attempts to get President Cyril Ramaphosa's attention have failed, and with elections just a few weeks away, they say they won't vote. Majority of the graves you see here behind me belong to people who were killed in the 1990s at the height of South Africa's political violence. Even after so many years, families of these victims are still searching for justice and recourse. I'm Matua Masachi for Telesur in Togoza, South Africa.